What's up ladies, welcome back to my channel. I'm your girl Lorna Marie. If you're new here, welcome. Today we are doing a what's in my restaurant bag. Now in this bag, this is everything that I bring with me as a mama for on the go to feed my kids, to eat at a restaurant in peace. Now this bag coincides with my diaper bag. So if you haven't seen what's in my diaper bag, check in the link in the down bar below. I'm doing a whole series on baby and toddler here on my channel. So subscribe, hit that little bell notification, give your girl a thumbs up if you feel like depositing some positive energies into the universe. I will be linking my website in the down bar below. It has exclusive content and all my favorites in one place. So if you wanna see what I pack in here to be prepared as a mom of four on the go, then just keep watching. Okay, you guys, let's get into the bag. I'm gonna open this up. It's kind of like a book. Now, I got this a long time ago, so I know there's probably not gonna be a link for this exact one, but I've seen even better ones that have more compartments. I'm into more compartments. That's just what kind of girl I am. I saw them on Amazon, so I'll link those for you guys in the down bar. So the first page, is this a page? The bag, and I'm gonna be opening it. There's pages. Well, I like to consider them pages, but <laughs> I'm going to be opening it into this front pocket here. This is in the front pocket. This is for my daughter. And honestly, she's one and my two year old was so pissed that he didn't have one too. So I'm going to have to buy a second one for him. But I was sticking that in here because usually he just watches TV if he gets restless. And um, he also likes to color. I have some coloring stuff, but that's in a half coming up is my entertainment bag, my kid entertainment bag that has everything that I use on the go to keep my kids entertained. It's for the restaurant, and like I said, they fight over this thing. On this inside pocket, I have these bibs. I've shown these bibs in my baby favorites, my all-time baby favorites over the last 10 years. I'll link that video. It's literally everything that I've ever loved for my babies, so, and I have four. I've had lots of babies. These are great. Let me show you again if you didn't see that video, but they fold up into themselves and you can stick a fork or a spoon inside and they just roll up like this. Love them. This thing, you guys, love it. So they have those disposable ones that like you stick on and I used to use those or like Mickey and all these different characters and then you rip it off and you can just throw it in the trash, which is super easy but I think it's a little wasteful and it can get expensive. So you just buy this once and like literally you can crinkle it or it gets folded and then it pops right back up. But this is what you feed their snacks on. It's flat and flimsy so it, it kind of like sticks to the table, which is really nice. And I just stick this also in the pocket. I'll just roll this up and stick this right next to the bibs. Now this might seem weird to carry more than one type of bib, but I feel like Depending on where you're at, we are super active. We go to Disneyland, we're at the beach, we take the kids to get ice cream or whatever it is. I like to have different types. When I'm at the restaurant and I want to catch their snacks, I use the bib, okay? Or they're eating rice or whatever. If they're eating ice cream or you know something sticky, I use these bibs. They're like a full shirt. It has a Velcro at the top and the back and it pretty much covers all their arms and everything so there's less cleanup. You have to wash this when you're done, but that's super easy. Just throw it in the washer when you get home. And I also have one of these big plastic ones. So I think it just depends on the situation, which bib that I reach for. But I honestly keep all of these bibs in here to have options. So the next part is this inner flap that I'm gonna be showing you guys. This is basically all of the utensils that I like to have with me on the go. I have a set of toddler spoon and fork. This is for my son. Um, he can do pretty good with a regular fork, but I like to have the option if he's having issues or you know, we're having chopsticks or something and he wants chopsticks, I'm like, oh look, use your special spoon and fork, son. <laughs> So this is kind of a, a good thing to have for multiple reasons. And then I have my daughter's spoon. I got this off of Amazon. It's by Avanchi. I really, really like this spoon. It's kind of wide, but it just works in her little baby mouth. And I also keep this little mesh strainer when we're on the go. And if the kids are eating fruit or whatever, and we're sitting outside, we're by the pool, by the beach or whatever, and I want her to be able to have this mesh strainer, this is a good item to have and I keep it in a little Ziploc bag so when it gets dirty, I can stick it in here and then throw it in the washing machine. Throw it in the dishwasher, not the washing machine, when I get home. My baby's teething, so I also keep a little 
teething toy with us. And this is one of my all time favorite ones. And I always keep it inside of here so I can give it to her. This keeps her occupied, this soothes her gums, it does everything. I have toothpicks. I have them everywhere. I am a toothpick hoarder. I need toothpicks. So I keep them in my purse, in my diaper bags, in my feeding bags, in my car, everywhere I go. Gotta have my toothpicks just in case. So that's everything that was on this pocket. Now we're gonna be, I'm gonna show you what is in this pocket right here. So we have band-aids. I have a whole little section of band-aids. I have those in my diaper bag, but I like to keep another set because if I leave that portion when I'm at the restaurant in the car, I still have band-aids on me because band-aids cure everything for kids. <laughs> then I have a pack of Kleenex which is good to wipe noses when you're at the table. And then I have a pack of antibacterial wipes, which is so important when you need to wipe their hands down before dinner time, before meal time. Now, in this back pocket here, I'm gonna show you guys what I have. Now she's one, my baby's one, my youngest baby, and she's getting into the stage where she can eat regular foods, but I like to keep pouches because she'll still have a pouch every once in a while, maybe for breakfast, and then I'll add something to it. But if it's an emergency situation and she needs something more substantial on her stomach or somewhere where there's nothing really she can eat, I keep these for an emergency. I mean, and honestly, my two-year-old, he can eat these too if there's an emergency and he's like starving and he wants to eat one. This is like apple, peach, and oatmeal. Like he could totally have this. So I use Earth Best, whatever's organic is pretty much what I use. I'm gonna show you guys a few of their favorite snacks, but this is all in the back part where all the snacks are. So they do, well my two year old does the Annie's organic fruit snacks. Oh, the kids love these. These are the plum little teethers snacks. Love, love, love these. They come in different flavors. Oh, here's another one. This is apple leafy greens, and this one's banana with pumpkin. Okay, then my son, my two-year-old, is obsessed with these. I guess my baby likes them too. I cut them up really small for her. But this is Earth's Best Organic Sunny Days Snack Bars. And I think they have apple and blueberry and all kinds of different flavors. So she's transitioning out of her bottle, but I still like to keep a bottle. These are my favorite. And a pack of powder in this bag just in case. She only has it at night, but sometimes we'll be out you know, at the beach or somewhere and it'll be super late when we get home and I like to just have it just in case we miss that bedtime deadline. They also like these organic veggie crisps. These are by Gerber Baby. Now I wanted to show you guys this. This is a hack that I do. Um, so like I said, she's getting out of the formula stage. So I'm starting to put all of their snacks in the formula container instead. They have their little yogurt things. These are called Organic Happy Baby Greek Yogis, okay? So I put these in one of the little compartments and then I put these Happy Baby Superfood Puffs in these other two compartments. And what's nice is when I get to the restaurant, I can just open it up and not too many come out and I just dump them out. Like they come out like one at a time which is perfect when you're at a restaurant and you're trying to buy time. You don't wanna put all the snacks out, okay? I'm a veteran mom and I'm here to say, don't put them all out, one at a time. If you're sitting right here and you want to entertain them, they need to find it. Or put one here and put one super far away. I spread mine out, I make my kids work for their food. <laughs> now I don't fit this in my diaper bag, but I wanted to make sure you guys saw this and it's a really good thing to have with you in the car or whatever. It wouldn't fit in any of these bags, but I still bring it with me. I load up the snacks, I put them in here, and what's cool about this one is the lid comes off. I can fill it up and bring it with us, and the snacks don't come out. And when it's time to eat the snacks, it goes to the bottom, and then this thing, they reach in, but not the whole thing dumps out, so they have to grab it. I'm actually gonna see if my little baby can do it, but my son, loves these things. So what I like to have with these is a tethering thing. I do this with their toys and everything. It goes around here and you attach it to this. Uh, you attach the snack cup to this side, to the other side to their high chair or their seat or their car seat or wherever. And so if it drops, it doesn't go everywhere and you don't lose your cup. Cause that's the one thing that's so annoying about having kids is that you buy so many things and it just gets lost. The borrowers took it. If you know what I'm talking about, comment down below. All right, and that's pretty much it. That's all that I have in here.
I keep a separate snack bag. So I have four kids and a dog and a husband. I don't know why I said dog because that doesn't really matter. <laughs> but I have four kids and a husband and I like to keep our snacks in a separate bag. So this is for my babies, this is for the grown-ups and the big kids. And this is pretty much snack. I mean, there's stuff in here my toddler can have, but I just wanted to show you guys this bag, which I love. I stick this, I have a huge, I think that should be a video. Let me know if you guys are interested. I have a basket that I keep under my daughter's car seat and it has everything. I stick my diapering stuff, I have um, my shopping bags, everything that I need. I put their snack bag, I have a first aid kit, stuff that I like to keep in the car. It's all right there. So this goes in there. If you guys wanna see that video, let me know in the comments. Anyways, I'm gonna just show you guys what it looks like inside. But there's just a bunch of snacks. I always like to keep a Quest bar or some kind of protein bar because sometimes moms don't get to eat. It's hard. We live a hard life. <laughs> All right, so that was everything that we bring with us on the go for restaurants and for feeding. All right, ladies, I hope you guys enjoyed what's in my restaurant and feeding bag. If you've made it to the end of this video, I so appreciate you for being here and supporting my channel. If you haven't done so already, subscribe, hit that little bell notification, and give your girl a thumbs up. All of the product links and information will be in the down bar, as well as my new website, which I will also be linking for you guys. Until next time, I'm always your girl, Lorna Marie. Bye.